is they went back to their original rhythm, which is atrial fibrillation. So that is a success. Or they could, you know, from the ventricular pacing rhythm, they have a ventricular pacing rhythm that went into VTAC, okay? And after the um, defibrillation, the patient went back to BPACE rhythm. So that is a success. So the technique here is that if we deal with our, um, um, if we deal with our cardiac arrest very fast, so it will be easier to, the, you know, to convert them or terminate their ventricular tachycardia. A delay means a lot, so we don't want delays and everything. And we have to check all blood works and everything. So the focus of this video is mainly the operation of our defibrillator machine. So we have to do is when it arrives, as soon as you turn the power on, you see the green button there. All you have to do, and then the other RNs will start connecting to the defib pads and everything there. Okay. And she will press her energy select. As I said, for the first defibrillation, the machine is already preset at 200 joules. Okay. That's one. So power on button by the defib RN. And then the other RN will uh, apply the anterolateral uh, defib pads. And then the machine is already preset for 200 joules for first defibrillation. The defib RN will press the charge. So you hear an escalating sound until it hits 200. Then the defib RN will say all clear. So CPR RN off the patient at the bed. And shock button is applied by pressing this one. So one, turn on. Press energy select. The charge and the shock button. Okay. So 200 for the first defibrillation. For the second defibrillation will be 300. Assuming that we need another attempt. And then 360 for the last one. Okay. And those HMTs, most of them don't apply for CCU patient, but as I said, low potassium, low magnesium, thrombosis are the, and those electrical abnormalities are the ones that we deal most in CCU. So it's not only the H and the T's. Okay? So um, if you think this is helpful for you guys, you can, you are welcome to press like, share, and subscribe here at my YouTube channel. Okay, and again, thank you so much.